Hi everyone, my name is Abdul Rahman and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Paystack payment page. Now, Paystack payment pages are really easy to set up and this here, for instance, is an example of one. Now, to get started, first we log into the Paystack dashboard. When you do, you come to the menu panel here and click on Payment Pages. Now, this reveals a list of all your existing payment pages and to create a new one, simply come over here and click on Plus New Page. Now doing that reveals a pop-up which gives you two options. Option one is to create a one-time payment page and option two is to create a subscription payment page. Now for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to create a one-time payment page for a book called Lagos After Dark, which costs 4,000 Naira. So let's go ahead and click on choose. Now this reveals a pop-up and the very first field here asks for the page name. Now this is going to be the name of the payment page and since the name of our book is Lagos After Dark, let's call it Lagos After Dark. Okay, now the next field here is asking for the description. So the description of the item which you're trying to sell. So let's say a bestseller by Lola Co. Okay, now the next segment here allows us to upload an image now this image is the image that is going to show whenever you share this URL to the payment page on social media. So whenever you share it on social media, the accompanying image is what we are allowed to upload from this place. So let's click on upload image. So select an image and let's select this. Okay, that's done. So this button allows you to remove the image. This one allows you to change the image entirely. Next, there are two checkboxes. The very first one here asks if there is a fixed amount for the item which you're trying to sell. The answer is yes. We set 4,000 Naira. So we'll go ahead and click on it and key in that very amount, 4,000 Naira. The next checkbox wants to know if we intend to collect the phone numbers of the customers on this page. We do not want to do that, so you leave this blank and click on Show Advanced Options, which reveals a whole new segment. Now, the very first field here asks for a custom link. Now, this is going to be something like paystack.com slash pay slash something. Now, this URL, paystack.com slash pay slash something is what you share with your customers and it's the link through which they are able to pay you. So now, once again, since the name of the book is Lagos After Dark, let's make that something be Lagos hyphen after dark. Okay, the URL is available so we can move on to the next field which asks for a redirect URL. So now what this does is this. So say after a customer is able to make a successful transaction, we intend to move them over to another web page automatically. Now the URL of that other web page which we intend to move them to is what we are supposed to put into this field. Now since in this case we do not want to do that, we can leave it blank and move to the next field which asks for a success message. Now let's uh, now the success message. What it does is it's the message that it shows to a customer that is able to make a successful transaction. So let's tell that customer, thanks for doing business with us. Okay. Now this next field here asks for the email where all notifications of all transactions are sent to. So let's put in my email address abdurrahman at me dot com. Okay. So now this whole other segment here, now this section allows the business owner to set up the payment page such that the revenue made through the payment page is split between two bank accounts in predetermined percentages. Now this doesn't apply much to us, so we can leave the segment here and move on to the next field which asks if we want to collect any extra information from the customer. The answer is yes, I want to know my customer's address so that I can deliver the book to them. So say I wanted to ask for some other information, I would simply come here and click on plus add another field like this. But since I do not want to, I simply click on the X to close it. Now I can go through all of this and if I'm satisfied with everything that I have, I can now click on create to create my payment page. Now this here is a pop-up which is telling me that my payment page has been successfully created so I can click on visit your page to go to my page. Okay, so this here is my payment page. Now you'll notice that there is a red banner here which says this is a test page and also ones that you should not share this with your customers. 
Now, a typical use case for why you might want to do this to create the test payment pages so you get to see for yourself what the payment page looks like before you then start to share. So say you've gone through the payment, you've created this test payment page and you like what it looks like and you're ready to share with your customers. What you then do is that you change it from a test payment page to a live payment page and this is how you do it. So you come back to the Paystack dashboard, press to close this and then you come right over here and click on publish to live. So this is a pop-up which is asking if you really want to do just that. The answer is yes. So you click on yes, publish and take me to live mode. Okay, so clicking on that now takes us to live mode and it also makes our payment page move from a test payment page to a live payment page. And to check that it's really live, you can come over here and click on visit link. Okay, so here you have the final payment page which is live as you can see there is no red banner here and your customers can simply come right here and key in all the information required of them and click on make payments to be able to successfully pay. Um, successfully pay. Now you should also note that you can create live um, payment pages right from the very start. All you need to do is that you make sure that the toggle right here is set to live mode. If you noticed when we started it was set to test mode which is why the payment page that we created was a test payment page so if right from the very start you want to create a live payment page make sure that the toggle here is set to live and then go ahead and create your payment page all right so that's everything you need to know on how to create a paystack payment page thanks very much for staying with me